What's up you guys, it's Steve here and we now have four gas stimulus check bills that have been proposed by Congress. They're currently on the table under negotiation by the White House for passing and approving more gas stimulus checks. This is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and breaking news update. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you all the details of these four checks as we're hearing. They might be needed because President Biden made some announcements last week about helping out to bring those gas prices down, but we're hearing it still might not be enough as we're seeing articles coming out like this. Take a look. As gas prices soar, Biden's climate ambitions sputter. The U.S. to release one million barrels of oil per day from reserves to help cut the gas prices, but we're hearing it's not even going to be a third of what's happening due to the war in Russia and Ukraine. And this one came from an article that said, Drill, baby, drill. The big idea behind Joe Biden's plan to bring down the gas prices. But we're hearing it's still not going to be enough. As I shared with you, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi came out and said, just because we cut out federal taxes or do all this doesn't mean that the gas companies are going to be lowering those prices. And the only way to guarantee some relief to the American people is to send out gas stimulus checks. And you guys... Here's what could be coming your way. I'm going to be covering for you in detail all four of the bills. I'm going to be putting links down below to the articles so you can see them for yourself. I'm going to put it on the screen for you and I'm going to name the bills because some people still don't believe me. They think I'm making this stuff up. You guys, I'm not making this up. They said if this is real, name the bills for us. Well, I will do that for you, okay? We're gonna go through all four of the bills and share with you these gas stimulus check bills. And also we're gonna be hearing from the president. I'm gonna share with you the video footage so you can see it for yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor and that is if you appreciate the updates, keeping you up to speed on everything going on, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below. Share this out if you think it's going to help out other people. If you'd like to stay up to date, maybe even on Sunday evenings, hope that you and the family are having a blessed weekend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way, as soon as updates come out, you're notified right away. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel Steve Ram Finance more content on the way if you're interested in learning about growing wealth personal finance maybe investing in real estate stocks cryptos starting a business this is going to be the channel for you more content coming this week keep an eye out for that you guys but with that being said let's go ahead and dive right in get you caught up on these four bills and what the president is doing to lower gas prices and let's start off with some video footage of what he had to say about it so let's go ahead and dive right in how much in monetary terms do you estimate today's announcement to reduce gas prices and when can americans expect to see these changes that's a really important question, and there's no firm answer to it. But prices already came down when it was announced ahead of time that Biden was going to release so much and so much energy from uh, so many barrels of oil from the SPRO. They're already come down. My guess is we'll see it come down, continue to come down. Um, but how far down, I don't think anyone can tell. And there's going to be a slight delay because if you go out there and you're a gas station and you purchased X amount of gas, at a certain price, you're not going to lower the price of the pump until you're able to get back what you invested. And that I'm talking matter of, I think, you know, days and weeks. But it's hard to tell. And the other thing is, exactly, but it will come down. And it could come down fairly significantly. It could come down the better part of, you know, anything from 10 cents to 35 cents a gallon. It's unknown at this point. I'm also waiting to see whether or not our allies exactly how many how many barrels they release from their supplies now my guess is it could be as high somewhere between 30 million to 50 million barrels and the higher the number the more likely the prices to come down thank you all very much so there you have it you guys that was president joe biden said that gas prices could be coming down about 35 cents per gallon due to the release of the oil reserves. Now, in addition to that, let's cover some of these gas stimulus check bills so that way you can see them for yourself. And I'm gonna be highlighting the names of the bills for you. So the first one, take a look you guys, is called the Gas Rebate Act. And I've even seen this called the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. The bill proposed by Thompson, Larson, and Underwood would provide monthly energy rebates of $100 per person. So this particular one is probably the most generous of all of them. This is a monthly gas stimulus check 
check of $100 per person with no limit to the amount of persons per household. So a household of 10 would essentially get $1,000 per month for this gas rebate and the requirements, the eligibility income requirements are gonna be the same as we saw for the stimulus checks. They're following pretty much exactly the third stimulus check, that pandemic check, 75,000 and less, you get the full check for an individual, 150,000 or less, you get the full check for a married couple filing jointly. And if you're an individual and you make over 80,000, you're not eligible. And if you're a married couple and you make over 160,000, you're not eligible for the check. Now that is the first one that has been proposed. Now the other one is the big oil windfall profit tax. This one is currently being proposed also by Representative Ro Khanna. And they're proposing that they're gonna be taking the difference of the 2015 to 2019 costs, the average costs, they're gonna be comparing them to what the cost is now. They're gonna be taxing these oil companies 50% of the profit difference, which they're estimating would provide a single filer about $240 annually and joint filers $360 each year. So this one's a little bit less generous, actually quite a bit less generous, and they would send out these checks quarterly to everybody in the United States. So that is the second bill. Now the third check is the Stop Gas Price Gouging Tax and Rebate Act, and this one is a little bit of a combination of the last two. So this one is proposing that we also tax those oil companies the difference of their profits. However, they're saying we then take the money and send out $300 monthly checks to go out to households. So it doesn't matter if the household has two people, four people, 10 people, you would get $300. And so that is the third one that has been proposed. And the one that has been most recently brought to the table is from Representative Josh Harder of California. And this announces a $500 federal gas relief check uh, as well known as the Putting Gas Money Back in Your Pocket Act. Now this one, there's no income eligibility requirement, anything like that, just pretty much if you're 16 years of age and older, everybody gets a one-time $500 check to help them out. So anybody that can drive is driving age, you get a check. That is the only requirement is the H. So uh, that is also on the table. Those are the four gas stimulus checks that are currently being proposed. And we're hearing they might be needed because these gas prices are high and we're hearing they're not gonna be dropping anytime soon other than what we're hearing from the president of about 35 cents per gallon, but they've gone up significantly more recently with everything going on. So you guys, that is the latest on gas stimulus checks. And I will keep you up to date here on the channel as more rolls out. We're gonna be seeing if any of these get any traction, if any fall off, if any of them uh, become modified or combined into something new. I'll let you know here on the channel because we're hearing that this is likely gonna be getting more support as we go forward, especially as we get closer to those midterm elections, this is gonna be a big year in Congress as Democrats who are in full control are gonna to wanna to stay in control and it's very likely more legislation like this is gonna be proposed and likely even passed right before elections to try to persuade voters to try to keep them in power. Now, we will see, I'll keep you up to date. In addition to that, we're hearing talks are resuming on Build Back Better. We've also heard there is an agreement on more stimulus provisions to help battle the pandemic. So there is a lot happening in Congress right now. And like I said, I'll keep you up to date here on the channel, you guys. We're expecting a lot more to be unfolding here very soon. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me once again, especially on a Sunday evening. Hope that you and the family had a blessed weekend. Uh, and I will keep you up to date. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Consider joining the second channel. More content coming out here very soon soon. And with that being said, you guys, I hope this reaches you well, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.